In this video, let's look at block storage and block replication and resilience in Hadoop distributed file system. In Hadoop distributed file system, files are written in blocks across different machines or nodes within a cluster. For example, the file that is too big to be written on a machine will be broken into various blocks depending on the size of the file and HDFS will write the blocks of the file on multiple nodes. In the picture here, you can see that a file tomsir.txt, which is of a size of 256 MB, is broken down into 64 MB blocks, which is a default size, and written to four nodes in the cluster. Hadoop is designed to handle very large files by dividing the blocks into various blocks on different nodes in the cluster. In the example here, the file is divided into four blocks, assuming the block size is 64 MB or 128 MB blocks in size. And these blocks are written to various nodes in the cluster. The exact mechanism of where the blocks are placed will depend on the application and various other factors in the cluster settings and also on the block replication mechanism. Here, let's look at the way in which block replication will provide resilience of the Hadoop storage architecture. Data resilience is built into Hadoop distributed file system. The mechanism to achieve data resilience is called block replication. So when a file is written, it is saved to HDFS into one or more blocks, typically 64 or 128 MB blocks. So when a block is written to HDFS, so as you can see here, the representation for the block is in the blue color. So HDFS copies the blocks onto various other nodes in the cluster. So here, the block which is written on node one is copied to node three and node five, which means every block in the cluster will have three replicated copies. In this example, you can see a file is divided into 25 blocks and the blocks are distributed across the cluster as shown. For each block, two further copies are made to other nodes in the cluster, which is as per the cluster settings, replication settings. Here, blocks 0 to 5 are replicated to node 3 and node 5. All blocks that make up the file are replicated in the same way. The end result is that every block of the file now exists on two other nodes. This has benefits for resilience as we will see in a moment. It also has benefits for processing. In, if three processes need to read blocks 0 to 5 at the same time, the YARN processing framework can send those three processes to different nodes in the cluster. So processing framework can send the processes to node one, node three, and node five, for example. So in this case, each of the three processes reads the data of a different physical hard disk and works on it on a different computer, thus taking advantage of the distributed memory and the processor load. The block replication count can be extended beyond the default three if a certain file is expected to be read by more than three processes at a given time. Further performance benefits can be obtained for so-called hot data. Block replication is designed to provide resilience in Hadoop distributed file system. For example, if the node 4 fails in the cluster, blocks 16 to 20 are no longer available. Similarly, blocks 6 to 10 and 21 to 25 blocks are not available because these blocks are residing on node 4. However, as you can see, blocks 16 to 20 are already replicated to nodes 3 and 5. Similarly, blocks 6 to 10 are replicated to nodes 2 and node 1. And similarly, blocks 21 to 25 are replicated between node 2 and node 5. Because of the block replication strategy, 
copies blocks in its entirety no build rebuilding of the data nodes need to take place the data is ready for use immediately for the processes if any processes were already running on node 4 when it failed the yarn framework can restart those processes on an other node in this way hadoop is designed to gracefully and silently manage hard disks and node failures as well hdfs also has a robust failure and recovery pipeline behind the initial of writing of data blocks and behind the reading of data blocks the resilient architecture is implemented at a software level this means that it is not necessary to implement expensive fail-proof hardware such as multiple redundant power supplies or redundant desks storage for the worker nodes in the cluster all this can happen on a commodity hardware in the next video we will look at the overall hdfs architecture and its main components such as name node data nodes secondary name node etc if you enjoy this video please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos